I'm Zane McKenzie and I'm 41 years old. My name is Notice, I am 35. My name is Megan and I'm 36 years old. My name's Mia and I'm 25 years old. My name is Jake Balestrino and I'm 31 years old. Daniel Giles, 33. Marie Ireland, 67. Innovation is about coming up with creative solutions to solve problems and so for people with disability we kind of do that uh, as part of our everyday lives all the time. I think we are innovators uh, by necessity but also by nature. International Day of People with a Disability this year is about how we can connect with and work with the wider community uh, to unpack some of these problems together. I get to celebrate this day with people who are, who are just like me. I text my phone and sometimes, sometimes you can bring my hearing aid. Um, the only thing that I kind of used growing up was um, I had a laptop. Um, I was probably a trendsetter there, I guess. Um, because I had one before it was, you know, cool to have one. Sometimes I use the show the notes on my phone to communicate. I use laptop communicating device. I am not that tech savvy really. My new house has automatic doors and Google Assist. I probably wouldn't be able to uh, work a full-time job. I wouldn't be able to get out and connect with others in the same way. I can go out alone now and use my iPad to help me. I can come to work and my iPad helps me a lot to communication. It helps me a lot to talk to people or order something to eat. You can now look up journey planners on phone apps or even use the GPS in public transport mode. It's really interesting when I think back to the first motorised wheelchair that I ever had it was made out of a plastic bath seat and it was crafted uh, by a fellow in his um, in his garage. Difficult, I guess I used spelling boards and machinists which put out written messages which were all time consuming and people sometimes ignored me. I mean now we have in some countries uh, you know pretty easy access to wheelchairs that can actually climb stairs. Then maybe the good idea would be to put a caption on, like an emergency and like announcement. For example, train will be late or train broke down. Having a lower kitchen, so all the kitchen stuff is up high for me, which is very hard, especially the microwave. But I would um, rather it um, everything be at my height to make it easier for me. Often the support that you can provide that makes the biggest difference is the really simple stuff. Might be opening a door, might be taking the time to have some uh, a conversation with someone with a communication difficulty. Try to understand us. Give us time as sometimes it's not easy to communicate or type fast. People speak slowly, learn basic sign. To be patient with me, to, um, understand what I need in terms of support and then always ask questions if, if they're unsure. I feel like kids kind of 
have a, you know, a no filter. Um, they'll come up and they'll ask, you know, what's, what happened to my hands. You can easily make somebody's day just by saying hello and, you know, giving a smile or that kind of stuff. And when you see a person with a disability, um, the best thing is to um, not just them by the way they are. I can sense, you know, the, the elephant in the room most times where people want to ask questions but they're not sure how to go about it or, you know, whether they even should ask a question. Um, so I definitely, you know, try and identify that and really I try and use humour to break down those barriers and, and, you know, ease, I guess, the tension that is in the air. When you see me walking down the street, a lot of people are going to see my wheelchair and that's immediately going to put up a red flag and it's going to get people making assumptions about what I can and can't do or what I am or am not capable of. But quite often uh, I can surprise people with what I can do and I'd like to be able to surprise any person who wants to give me the time to do that.